Hey everybody, John Walls, Solution Engineer at Propeller. Today we're going to be talking about our basic stockpile calculations, the easy to use tool to measure inventory on the ground, no matter what the site condition. So with the stockpile tool selected, we're going to default to using the AI base tool, which will automatically detect the area of the stockpile. We'll look for that, uh, the toe of that pile. Now you can adjust the toe or the, the polling on to add a little bit of a buffer using the hotkeys that you see at the top. So that I or U button you can adjust it a little bit wider uh, to capture a little bit more of an area maybe you have. So once you've got that selected, you just hit shift and then click it. And you'll see that the polygon is now drawn around that stockpile. On the left side, we've got the volume. Once you've got that uh, pile circled, we can then go to the material properties page to include a material type. So that's gonna include the density that's been incorporated into your specific site, giving you a tonnage. And if you're uh, selling that material at a specific dollar per ton, you can include that in here as well to get the general total of your uh, material. Now, once that pile has been circled, you can hit save. Now that's pretty simple and straightforward for a, um, for a freestanding stockpile. Now other options where you may be in an area that you have material up against each other or in a three wall bin, Maybe the AI tool isn't going to be of your uh, best interest. So what we can do here is instead of using the AI tool, we're just going to start immediately clicking around the toe of that pile. So we can get a little bit more granular. And then I'm able to showcase another one of our features with using our stockpile tool that is adjusting the base of that pile. So when you, we set that uh, default to the smart volume tool, what it is, it's adjusting it to wherever the clicks are, wherever those vertices that we set. Now, once you've got that dialed in, if you need to make any adjustments, so say we've got this pile that's up against that slope, we have also got the pile that's up against this other type of material. On this drop down, we can change this to a reference level surface. So what that means, we can set it to a specific elevation. Additionally, we have other options like uh, comparing that to a comparing that base to a previous survey where there was no material there. So you can look back at uh, if you've had that site flown before there was material on that uh, on that spot, you can set that uh, reference base to a specific date or even setting it to a, a design surface. So if you've got a, a design plan that's associated with a flat surface, you can include that here as well. And then lastly is the custom surface, which I'll get into in another video but that's where you can set the specific elevations to a uh, stockpile for each of these vertices. So we can get really granular to how we set that base. 